Cine Daisies, welcome back. I'm Achara Cook, joined by Carolina Sophia, and we are checking out a stand up video here. This is by Abhishek Upmanyu, who I think is hilarious. This one is called Break Up Respecting Elders, something that I have done. Both of them. Yes. You? I've done both of these. Yes. <laughs> I definitely respect my elders. Um, so I'm very curious to see what he's going to chat about, what, how he's going to make jokes out of these. Yeah. So let's check it out, you guys. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video. Also, go ahead and subscribe to Abhishek Upman News YouTube channel. I know he's got a special out there on his channel and YouTube membership. So why not go and support him on there as well while you're, you're there? Let's Let's go. Okay, recently one of my friends went through a breakup. And he's one of those guys who can't handle their breakups. So after the breakup, he said, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, oh shit, man. He's so loved, then he's gone. He doesn't have faith in them, he can leave them. But what they do is they never tell you directly that they've broken up. What they do is they try to slip it in conversations. Like, in every time, they have to break up, they have to break up. You call the phone, you'll have to break up. I said, where is the phone? Where is it? He said, in the hostel. I said, are you alone? I said, very much. I love his facial expressions. I said, no one, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm going to get my eyes filled with my eyes. That's so extra. I was a little girl, so I was eating chocolate. So my dad came and said, don't eat chocolate. I said, why? I will go to the mouth. So, I ate ice cream. So, my dad said, don't eat ice cream. Why? I said, I will go to the mouth. So, I ate ice cream. I will go to the mouth. What did he say then? So, my dad said, don't eat ice cream. Why? I said, I will go to the mouth. I said, come here, Papa. Come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Do you want to talk to me again? Talk to me again. Respect your elders. And that is one thing that our parents have always taught us, right? Yeah. Respect your elders. Respect your elders. But they never explained why. And I don't think they have any reason. They are saying that we are going to fall like this. So I said, Hey, Baba, tell me, Papa. Why do you want to respect? They are saying that they are just doing it. I said, why? He said, we were born before. Yeah. Oh, my God. He said, there's no other reason for me. I said, I didn't have respect. He said, I'm crazy. You're not crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And they also tell you that you should respect women, which I agree. So you should respect your elders and you should respect women. We can only do the same thing with small girls. It's a child group, right? So I don't want to leave the girls on the street. I don't want to leave the girls from here. Why are you so scared? Okay, recently one of my friends came up to me and he criticized me, right? But he criticized me for something that I have never been criticized for in my entire life. He said, and I quote, Yara, vayathe to banda bada pyaara hai. Par yaar, tere masoore bade gande hai. What? Exactly. It took a little time for me to register this completely. I said, haan yaar, I have to work on it. Ekin, masoore? मसूरे होते किसके अच्छे? I mean मसूरे कोई elegant body part नहीं है। Like you never see guys talking about girls भाई बंदी क्या मसूरे थे यार। You can have bad girls though। बंदी के बारे में सुनता रहा ना ये वाला मजा आता थे। It was... 
तो कभी फरक हो गया हमने फिर वॉच फुटबॉल गेम चेयर कोई बात नहीं करनी मैं फुटबॉल मैच देख रहा था उसमें अनाउंसमेंट हुई बड़ी अजीब टाइप की वो बंदा है और कहता टुडे इज द एंटी डिस्क्रिमिनेशन डे एनी डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट क्रीड कलर और सेक्स वुड नॉट बी अप्रिशिएटेड वुड नॉट बी अप्रिशिएटेड मैं तुम कर लो तारीफे नहीं करे तुम्हारे रेसिज्म के हम ठीक है कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स तो मत ही एक्सपेक्ट करना आई थिंक इंडिया ये जहाँ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन को हम लाइटली लेते हैं बिकॉज वी हैव मच बिगर प्रॉब्लम टू डील विद राइट दैन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन लाइक कंसिडर मुंबई पुलिस एवरी डे दे आर गेटिंग केसेज ऑफ मर्डर एंड किड्स गेटिंग स्टैप एंड सबडी गेटिंग रॉब्ड और तब कोई भाई साहब आ रहे हैं डिस्क्रिमिनेशन की कंप्लेन लेके सर मेरी कंप्लेन इतना क्या हुआ उसने मुझे काला बोल दिया पुलिस वाले गुस्सा आ जाएगा तो देख भाई उसने तुझे काला बोल दिया क्योंकि तू काला है भाग जाए ऐसे काले कलुए भाग यहां से अब अंधेरा हो रहा है देखे को गाड़ी मार जाएगी निकल जाए ऐसे ब्रेकअप थिंग आई तो was really interesting. I don't know if I've ever really had that happen to me where a, a friend or someone broke up and then like just tried to squeeze it in the, yeah. yeah, like just squeeze it into the conversation like you I, I mean, don't think I've had that happen either. I feel like they just tell me. Yeah. It's like, "Oh, I broke up." And then then, then you're like, "Okay. I'm in this conversation now for an hour. Let's go. <laughs> What happened? Tell me. Spill the tea. I need to know. Give me the rundown on yeah. the dirty details. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But maybe maybe it's different with guys, but the whole respecting your elders thing, I I find so relatable because there was this thing that my mom used to say all the time. She would tell me things and then I would be like, "Okay, mom, but this is hypocritical because XYZ." Mm-hmm. Right? And then her reply was always do what i say not what i do number 1 and then number 2 it was always everything i say everything i do is for your all good she didn't say your own good it was your all good even though this is hypocritical af mm-hmm. you want me to listen to you because everything you say and do is for my own good yeah. and uh but you just did that thing she's like I I've always found that bothersome. My mom would do a lot of because I said so's, oh, but yeah. I was never told respect your elders the way that I feel like it's instilled in culture here. I'm a respectful person. I'm going to respect you until you give me a reason not to. Right. But it's like I have a problem with like following that rule because it's like if you're older than me and you disrespect me, don't expect me to respect you. Yeah, I mean, and same with like what he said about kids. It's like respect everyone until they give you a reason not to. Um <laughs> I had a like my landlord or the building manager where I lived, he was once very disrespectful to me. Mhm. And he was like, "I am like twice your age, blah 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 blah," because I told him politely, "I think it's disrespectful for you to walk into my apartment with no notice." W- with no notice cuz I may be walking around naked for all you know. Like I it's just a pr- Yeah, like, that's rude. But I said it I did it's not I was against the law. But I didn't say it in a rude way. Yeah. But then he's like, "You are such a brat. Like I am twice your age." Blah blah. And I'm like, "Sir, tone it down. Like I don't care how old you are. Yeah. I've been respectful to you. You need to be respectful to me." And to me, it was that argument was so archaic. I'm like, "Yeah, I can tell you're so much older than me because our generation, I think, does better about boundaries and like, sure. you know, like, yeah. What would you be like, Gen Z? <laughs> I would love to be considered Gen Z. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you're like, I'll take. I am Gen Z." that has definitely become a thing where i can understand it being a little bit frustrating where you're like respect me because i'm older than you and mm-hmm. i know things but it's even not, though i'm disrespecting you but it's not a good argument if that person is disrespecting you yeah. like I, i get to a point sometimes where i'm like okay well i've had more life experience than you and if you want to take my advice you can and if you don't then don't in maybe 5 10 years time you'll realize that what i was saying had some merit so mm-hmm. there you go but it is sometimes frustrating the whole respecting your elders thing because like generally i do mm-hmm. um but there are definitely moments where i'm like god i really don't want to be respectful towards you because i think you're a dumbass but i will smile and um just be like sure <laughs> maybe that's just like my tie upbringing where yeah. i'm like it it is very much instilled in you to yeah. respect your elders and listen to whatever nonsense they tell you with yeah. a smile yeah. and then afterwards you can be like 
God. Dumb. Achara, I've finally come to an age and a point in my life where my mom has stopped believing that she's always right. Oh, wow. And she's been like, oh, you've really matured and you really give me like insight sometimes. And she's learning to let me be right in some ways. And she's like, no, that actually, because I think our generation, we have access to more resources. We learn a lot from other cultures, from other people, from other mindsets. And she started to be like, oh, you're right. Like maybe I should adapt the way that I am as a person. And I'm like, Thank you, mom. We we respect that. And I respect her, but it's a mutual thing. I'm literally shook. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I roasted my mom earlier, so now I'm giving her <laughs> s- some love back. Amazing, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I uh, hope to catch you in the next one. I'm Achara Cook. This is... Carolina Sofia. <laughs> Ciao.